Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon and we're going to wish you a happy Thanksgiving first and foremost today from Clownfish TV. Geeky is sitting this video out. She's helping make Thanksgiving dinner. And uh, speaking of Thanksgiving, speaking of turkeys, we're going to talk about Disney's uh, turkey in the making here. Strange World is not going to make a lot of money at the box office this weekend uh, for a number of reasons. Uh, first and foremost is that it really got no promotion at all. We've talked about that before, but it's also sandwiched between several larger releases. Uh, you know, people are going to go to the theater to see one thing. It's not going to be this movie. I think people have also gotten used to seeing Disney movies on Disney Plus, and that's Disney's own doing. They've kind of made uh, Disney Plus the place to go for animation. But uh, I knew it was going to be bad. In, in terms of box office, I did not know it was going to be this bad. We're talking $800,000 on preview night. That's that's horrendous. For a Disney movie during Thanksgiving, that's absolutely terrible. So we're going to talk about this and uh, where they think this movie is going to wind up. They think it actually is going to make less money than Brother Bear did back in 2003. We're talking under $20 million for the weekend. This thing is going to be a colossal failure and uh, i think you know disney is absolutely to blame for it and uh, the weird thing about this movie though is that uh, it actually i think the trailer it actually looked pretty decent anyway we're going to talk about it. before we get into it any further please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants guys over 281,000 subs thank you so much for the support greatly appreciated go out to pirates and princesses Dot net and uh, you know check out some objective Disney news. I don't know if we've covered Strange World too much on Pirates and Princesses, but uh, yeah, let's talk about this because they're saying that they're expecting it to do under twenty million dollars this weekend. Now I don't know uh, where it is now. Not a lot of people are talking about. It. They're not even talking about the box office. They're like, oh yeah, it's a thing that's going to happen. But uh, according to the Wrap via Yahoo. Uh, Disney's Strange World has a projected launch for the extended weekend of just $26 million. Uh, these Wednesday projections are still preliminary and the numbers could change over the weekend, but unless they do, Strange World risks becoming the first film from Walt Disney Animation Studios to earn a Friday through Sunday opening of under $20 million since Brother Bear. That is, that is freaking terrible. So they're already saying it's going to be a disaster. Uh, Lightyear did not burn up the box office, and that was a Toy Story-related movie. It was not a Toy Story movie. There's no way in hell it was a Toy Story movie. Uh, this is not the movie that Andy watched as a kid and made him fall in love with the character of Buzz Lightyear. But uh, it did much, much better on preview night, and it still was a, a massive failure at the box office. Uh, this is coming from Showbiz 411, 411. Box office Disney disaster, new animated film, Strange World, bombs in previews with just $800,000. Uh, most kids have ha had half school days yesterday. Um, they should have piled in the theaters to see Disney's new animated film, Strange World. But they did not come in droves. Instead, Strange World made just $800,000 in previews. This does not bode well for Thanksgiving weekend. At this rate, Strange World could turn out to be Disney's lowest grossing animated film in a long, long time. Just for context, Lightyear, considered a Disney bomb earlier this year, had a $5 million preview night and went on to earn $118 million domestically and $100 million internationally. And it was still a bomb. I mean, it was a Toy Story movie. It should have made a, a hell of a lot mo more money than that. If it had been a good movie, it would have made a hell of a lot more money than that. A lot of potential audience may be thinking they'll wait and see Strange World on Disney+. Plus. If that's the case, theaters are in bigger trouble than anyone thought. This does not bode well for Avatar 2 either. Uh, Avatar 2, according to CNN, according to everything I've heard, has to make $2 billion at the box office to break even, right? Um, so, you know, we'll see. Already, uh, smaller films with Oscar potential are heading early to streaming. Uh, the much praised The Banshees of Inishirin, I don't know, from Disney's Searchlight film is going to HBO Max before December. This is unheard of. In the past, a movie like Banshees would continue playing in a limited number of theaters until award nominations kicked in and word of mouth helped build interest. Uh, it is indeed a strange world. Um, this is Cartoon Brew. Disney's strange world skips markets where LGBTQIA plus content is banned or censored because, yes, apparently uh, one of the main characters is gay. 
I didn't get that from the from the previews, but it really shouldn't matter in the grand scheme of things. But there it is. So they've already limited their potential audience uh, right out of the gate. They already ruined any chance for this movie to play in China, Russia. Is anybody doing anything with Russia? Now? I don't know what's going on with Russia right now. Anyway, uh, Disney has decided to skip 20 international markets with the theatrical release of Strange World According to Cartoon Brew, choosing not to submit the film in countries where LGBTQIA plus content has been and is likely to be banned or demands for edits are likely to be made. So apparently uh, there is so much gay in this movie that they can't just uh, cut out the, the characters. That, that's one thing Disney has done in the past with uh, most of their their LGBTQ plus representation is, look, it's the first whatever character. And uh, this character, we can take out these two lines of dialogue and release this movie in China so we can please two audiences. Portland's going to be thrilled. And uh, China, they get their movie with the uh, the censored version. Uh, we took the gay away, kind of like uh, Dumbledore, the Dumbledore movie, right? Uh, territories that won't get theatrical release of the film include the, all of the Middle East, China, Malaysia, Indonesia, Pakistan, Turkey, Vietnam, East Africa, West Africa, uh, Nepal, Bangladesh. The film was not submitted for theatrical release in Russia either, although according to reports, that was due to ongoing geopolitical circumstances. I can't possibly imagine what's going on over there. What's going on in Russia? Uh, Disney has recently become quite familiar with censorship when releasing films abroad. So this is not going to help them at the box office either. Just this summer, there was tremendous controversy surrounding the release of Lightyear for a blink and you miss it same sex kiss. And in the end, more than a dozen countries banned the film. That was not a huge plot point. And everybody tried to blame uh, Lightyear's failure on the bigots. This is I, this is so ridiculous. Lightyear was a shitty movie. It was a shitty movie that had very little to do with the Buzz Lightyear of Star Command that we kind of all thought that was his origin story. Um, you know, we didn't even get a cameo by Tim Allen. I mean, it was, it was embarrassingly bad for Pixar, right. To, to release this. And it was, I mean, Buzz Lightyear of star command was a better tie in movie back in the nineties, a direct to video movie than, than Lightyear, which, you know, didn't feel like it had any, any connective tissue to toy story or that character whatsoever. And again, you cannot tell me that Andy, a little boy, growing up in the nineties would have watched that movie, which is interstellar light. He would have watched that movie and been like, yeah, I got to get an action figure of that guy. You know, why doesn't he come with the cat? Why doesn't he have a cat accessory? Um, <laughs> Strange world features a young male character, Ethan, who has a crush on another boy. Ethan's story is uh, integral to the main plot of the film. And Disney was unwilling to make any edits that would impact the narrative. So for that reason, at least the company has decided to avoid any territories that might ask for such edits. Um, according to Deadline, Disney said, In the countries where we operate, we seek to share our stories in their original form as we and the artists involved have created them. If we make edits because of legal or other considerations, they will be as narrow as possible. We will not make an edit where we believe it would impact the storytelling in that circumstance. We will not distribute the content in that market. Um... Yeah, so Encanto didn't do very well either. It's so weird because Encanto like blew up on TikTok. And it didn't do very well last year either. And they barely mentioned Strange World. I know Chapek, uh, before he got gone, RIP, Chapek in your career, before he got gone during the last earnings call, which was a very strange earnings call, but he didn't, I don't even think he mentioned this movie at all. He's like, we have Avatar 2 coming out. We're going to make money on that. And we've got uh, Wakanda Forever coming out. We're going to make money on that. Wakanda Forever, I don't think, is going to make nearly as much as Black Panther. It could be wrong. I'd have to look into that. It did make bank, but I don't think it's going to be quite as big as Black Panther. And Avatar 2, again, $2 billion to break even. And Spider-Man No Way Home didn't even crack that. So good luck with that, right? Uh, so... To bring it kind of back around to stuff we talked about earlier, this might be part of the reason Disney is is rumored to be bringing Bob Iger back to sell the company to Apple because Apple can absorb all the losses. I don't know what they have in the pipeline, what they're working on right now, but this could explain a lot of why Star Wars movies have been paused. Uh, Marvel movies are getting shuffled. 
Um, they're sort of in a state of flux right now with animation. Bob Chapek didn't think much of animation, but Apple thinks very highly of animation. In fact, they're working with Skydance and uh, the guy who you know gave us another Disney renaissance, uh, John Lasseter, heading up animation over there. So it would be a good fit. And it could be that they have a lot of movies like this, like this that they know are going to be misfires at the box office. And a company like Apple worth, you know, trillions of dollars, trillions of dollars could easily absorb the losses. But um, yeah, it's kind of a shame because, like I said, I don't get too excited about Disney movies uh, much anymore. But this one did look really different. I like the uh, style of it. I mean, it looks very much like, you know, Journey to the Center of the Earth, but... Yeah, you know, with a Disney bent on it, but um, it didn't look bad. It really didn't, and it's it's definitely going to get the short end of the stick. Uh, it's definitely going to be a dud for Disney, and we're you know, I'm looking at this like, yeah, you know, it only took a couple of years after John Lasseter got ousted for Pixar to go direct to DVD, basically direct to streaming, and for movies like Strange World to be colossal failures at the box office. You done fucked up, Disney. All right, I'm going to wrap this up. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture, news, views, and rants, and we'll talk later.